The tide is out and the water is clear. Let's go have a look at what we can find in the tide pools today. This anemone is exposed and is now waiting for the tide to come in again. Sea anemones may look like plants, but they can actually walk just really, really slowly. They move using their pedal disc that's the flat base they sit on. Have you ever seen a living pincushion? Meet the sea urchin nature's spikiest little tank. Those spines are not just for looks. They move, stab, and help the urchin crawl around. And underneath, hundreds of sticky little tube feet. Kinda like walking on spaghetti. They're ocean cleanup crew grazing on algae and keeping coral reefs tidy. Basically, underwater goats. I flipped this rock to see what's hiding underneath. I spotted some blenny fish just chilling, having a party of some sort. This one hoped right out the water. But you know what? These fish are specially adapted to be out the water during low tide, as long as they in the shade or under a rock. Next to those blenny fish, I found this red cushion star. Well, let's say it was stargazing. He'll put this one in our bin so we can have a closer look soon at what we found today. I better catch that blenny before it disappears under a rock, never to be seen again. This one was pretty chill and easy to catch, but if you look at how well they blend in with surrounding rocks, they can gone before you know. I spotted this crazy looking worm with a brittle star on top of it. The worm looks rather gross, so I better let it be. I caught some blenny fish, a few brittle stars, and in the tide pool there are some starfish just chilling. There were two cute little red starfish and this big one I found. I will put them in our bin to observe later. I found this puffer fish cruising around. They really cool little unusual fish. Sometimes if you hold them, they turn into a little tennis ball, but quickly deflate and swim on after. This one puffed up as I caught it, but don't worry, this is why they called puffer fish. Puffer fish are toxic to humans if consumed, but holding one is normally okay, but some species have toxins on their skin. So my verdict, adorable? Yes, hug worthy? Maybe not. I kept searching the tide pools and came across this octopus hunting crabs and fish. They are really clever hunters. They actually cover a rock with their legs and feel for fish and crabs hiding under the rock. One thing octopus love is something colorful. I will show you how they react to this camera handle. This octopus has a super strong grip. I was actually concerned that it would disappear into the cave with the handle, never to see it again. I just want to show you how clever octopus really are. I will put it in the bin and within a few seconds it will climb out. As you can see, it was not long and out it climbed. I let it be and it found a hole in no time. Since the octopus already helped itself out our collection bin, let's have a closer look at what we found before I put these sea creatures back in the ocean. 
We found some brittle stars, this really cool puffer fish with blue eyes and some starfish. If you look closely, you will see this little spot on top of the starfish. It is called a madreporite. It acts as an entry point for seawater into the starfish's water vascular system. This system powers movement, feeding, and respiration by controlling the starfish's tube feet. Even this blenner fish came to check it out. I love this tiny cushion star. This was some great finds. He'll put them all back now and find some more sea creatures for us to look at. A great place to start is by flipping over some rocks. I will try another rock. This one is stuck, but I will keep looking. Seems like there are only crabs here, but that's cool. I will catch a few. Just look at what I found here. It's the ultimate tiny home hunters, hermit crabs. These little crustaceans don't grow their own shells, they borrow them. As they grow, they upgrade. Kinda like shopping for jeans that finally fit, and when a new shell's on the market, it's a real estate frenzy. Crabs line up and swap homes in size order. So next time you see a shell on the beach, it might be someone's house. By the way, they also great climbers. Those little feet have sharp little claws on them to maneuver basically anywhere. I have some crabs and blenny fish in the bin so far. If you take a net and scoop the edge of a tide pool, there is a good chance you might find some shrimps, so I will show you how easy it is to find them. The tide is coming in, so we came to the end of our exploring today, but let's look what we found. There were loads of rock crabs hiding under the rocks. I caught a couple of blenny fish. This hermit crab is trying to flip onto his feet. I scooped a lot of ghost shrimp. I better help this hermit upright. I will put them all back now, but before you go, there are a few more interesting creatures I found I would love to show you. I caught a tiny puffer, it was super adorable. An octopus grabbed my feet. There was a creepy sea spider walking on the rocks. And this puffer fish said something. Don't forget to subscribe.